Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about the history of a newly opened attraction, the Secret Life of Pets. But, although it just opened, many people may not know how it started. And it started right here by replacing this building, the former Globe Theater at Universal Studios Hollywood, which was part of Baker Street um, next to the Walking Dead attraction. That got demolished and Illumination Land expanded. Let's talk about how. So in 2018, um, the concept of a Secret Life of Pets attraction um, began. They're already talking about it before. Uh, Universal was already talking about putting on a ride in before the first movie was even completed. Then it was originally going to be uh, a trackless dark ride, which is focusing on the search for a missing pet. And but it was actually supposed to go in the uh, the lower lot where Super Nintendo World is going right now. But they moved it to the uh, upper lot and decided to make an Omnimover system. Basically the same system that um, the Haunted Mansion is and basically the, the Yoshi ride. That's why we're not getting the Yoshi ride in Hollywood for Super Nintendo World. Because the same ride system and basically almost the same layout is being used for universe or is, was used for secret life of pets and in my opinion that's a much much better decision because look how gorgeous and awesome how many animatronics this ride has but it's supposed to be a, a, a dark ride attraction or track this dark ride focusing on the search for a missing pet it would have been placed in universe Studios hollywood and florida but florida florida version was postponed um and then of course hollywood version was reworked to have a track as i just mentioned so as you see in this concept art the single life pets was going to be built on the lower level and so, the lower lot and have a two-story show building with the basically the facades right now they have but just doubled um and height just stacked up and then even have a pitch perfect attraction most likely uh like a show and they would continue the street pets place from Transformers all the way through to the new show building. And thus, uh, they moved, decided they wanted to make Super Nintendo World instead because the Nintendo plans fell into place. Um, they're actually clearing the land when they started demolishing the sound stages. It was for Secret Life of Pets. But during that time in 2015, Nintendo fell into place and they decided to make a Super Nintendo World there and move Secret Life of Pets to the top. And they started working on that all the way in 2018. 18 so a big difference there some good concepts though some cool concepts for the earlier track this version included that you'll be going to be riding a Roomba and a big circular track this vehicle and even a version had a elevator where you're going to be going kind of rise the resistance style the track this vehicle will go in an elevator and then I don't know if it dropped but uh, you'd be going at least in elevators and going through a multi-story attraction, which is pretty cool. Would have been a first of its, first of its kind of ride system, but of course they decided to go with the Omni Mover with a universe. Uh, and Universal Orlando was uh, that attraction was scrapped for now, uh, but you never know it could come back in Epic Universe or in one of the two current Orlando parks in the future. Um, I'm kind of glad that they went with Super Nintendo World because this. Uh, this particular concept art um, because the stuff in the the outdoor seating that's already there I guess it would have been slightly expanded but that that's with the, where the pan Express and studio the commissary that's where all that is now so I'm actually glad we're getting a new land instead of just one new ride in the theater um, we get a whole Super Nintendo world over there which I think actually is better used for the land so good job Universal although that super for pets would have been super cool and hopefully Hollywood gets a track this ride in the near future. So finally, in July 2018, construction began on the sequel of Pets Dark Ride on the upper lot this time, demolishing that globe theater I showed you earlier in the video. And then Universal officially confirmed it on April 10th, 2019, took a whole year. Um, and then the ride was going to open, of course, on March 27, 2020. I had those my past member preview were to go what the pandemic happened and the ride opened in 2021 april 16th when the park reopened 
where it has 64 animatronics, 64 65 animatronics, and a very neat queue um, that um, doesn't look like a queue because you just wandered through the pet's apartment. And again, all in all, I'm glad of what we got with the sequel for pets. Uh, track this ride again, it would have been really cool, but I think Nintendo definitely fits better in that spa space, especially for bringing crowds in and attendance. More people will definitely come for Super Nintendo World versus a very large Seek Life for Pets track this dark ride. But what do you guys think of the Seek Life for Pets? Do you love it? Have you written it? Do you want to write it? Um, and what's your favorite part? What's your favorite scene? And what would you prefer? Would you prefer the track this dark ride? Seek Life for Pets in that little mini land with the Pitch Perfect area, the New York area. I guess it'd be, uh, yeah, it could be like a, be like a extended New York area, I guess, on the lower lot. Or would you, um, do you like Super Nintendo World in that spot as well? Or uh, better? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Become a member because we'll have much more attraction videos, history videos, like this for members only or early access. So. Definitely become a member. You can click that join button down below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.